Hey guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 8 of Ascendance of a Bookworm. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, so <sighs> I don't really want to talk about that. No, let, let's not talk about the fact that Luke is suspicious. Of mine. It's not fair. This hurts. My my freaking heart. My shipping heart. Like, oh my god. But too cute. Oh, you don't want to come now because you're he's laying in his bed and he's comfortable. <laughs> We haven't met the pigtail girl yet, so. You would think they would have a table or something in here for them. Yeah, but he's still suspicious of you, baby. I think he's going to wait until they both leave to really talk to Ryan. Exactly. Mm hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that could be smart. I mean, you know, you're both two little kids, and it's a little harder. Uh -huh. You know, you don't have to yell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, she's going to write the form. 
You got a problem with that? I know she's just a child. But, I mean, she's a, <laughs> she's a little kid with an 18, 20-something-year-old mind. Seriously? Look at him. Mm -mm. <laughs> it happens. You have to, like, you know, calm down. Luke, are you okay? Are you sure? I mean, that's a lot of stuff, though. Okay. All right. I mean, I love the fact that he's so caring and nurturing about her. But, I mean, you also need to watch your own health. Not just others. You're still a baby boy and you're growing. Mm. Hmm? The blood. I wouldn't eat it. Drop it. What the heck? What is that? I mean, hold up. Y'all just swinging these things like it's nothing. What are y'all gonna end up cutting yourselves? Holy Well, I mean, yeah, it is an isekai. You ain't a hero, you just a little girl.
-hmm. So you can't blame her for that. Are you sure you don't want to ask them, honey? That's crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to make chopsticks. I mean, you know what would be really, really funny? If Luke is also from, you know, where mine is from. And maybe. I don't really know. But that's just like talking out of my butt right now and just saying it. Yes. You know what that looks like? It looks like squash. Oh, God. If you only realize what you just said, baby. Oh, my God. Lutz, please. Distrust her. I don't like the fact that he's asking her so many questions, but I get that he wants to know the truth. I don't want to hear this. I don't want to see this.
No. We're there. <laughs> oh, God, why y'all do this to me? Oh my God. Don't be mad at her. It wasn't her fault. Yeah. Yeah, but they haven't looked into it more as much as you. Yeah, you can see.
<laughs> of course not, silly. <laughs> oh my god, I'm happy that they passed, but I'm still sad though. Oh my god, I wasn't ready for the tears today. It was too much. No, like you just hurt my feelings, honestly, but it felt so good though. I mean, even though, yeah, it's been a year. <sighs> Since mine, our mine, has become mine. It, I'm, I'm sounding way complicated right now with it. it. It just, it feels, it feels weird. But the fact is that Lucy accepts her. It's sweet. But there's going to be a point in time where she's going to have to go. And the fact is that, you know, yeah, she could have died episodes ago, but the one who was there for her was like, like oh my god, little baby, they care, like, they're so freaking cute. Oh my god, I wasn't ready for this episode, I wasn't ready for the confrontation that these two were gonna have. I really thought that, like, for the rest of this episode, maybe even the start of the following episode, Lutz wouldn't have talked to her and that it would have been a little while until he would have said, hey, I'm ready to come back and I accept he was my mind. Even though my, the mind that he grew up with is gone. Our mind is his mind. It's just so cute. I can't. The guild master got, uh, got there. It must be that girl with the pigtails. Yeah, because she needs to make, essentially, like, that too. You need to make, you know, the cover art. If you can make a cover art, the back art, the spine. You need, essentially, like, um, a type of glue or something to hold the pages together and stuff. Because you can't just be like, okay, there's somewhat of my book and everything. And if you don't have a uh, paper... To hold everything together like an actual book. I mean, they don't even, like, think about it. They don't even have a hole puncher. She has to think outside of the box to make something as amazing as a book. And I love the fact that every single week she thinks outside of it. And then there's different ways that, like, I never thought that you could use to make a book. Like, okay, I knew about the... The, the street of uh, the steamer, I think I knew about that and a couple other things because I think one time, um, when we were learning, it was in, middle, in elementary school, we were learning like really old ways how to make paper and stuff. And then I've also seen like, um, one of my favorite shows, The Amazing Race, do something like that because there are still some countries who still use the old fashioned way to make paper rather than the newer way, which is with a lot of technology and stuff. They rather do it rather with hand power. Rather than, you know, technology-based and be like, here, bam, it's right there. But it's really interesting to be able to learn that. Because you never know what could happen in, like, our future or this... In five years from now, ten years from now, um, power could go out. And then next thing you know, we have to go back to olden times where we were using our hands for essentially everything. We, like, technology plays a really big role in our lives every single day. And without it, we are essentially doomed. And if there wasn't ever a time where it happened, like, I think if any of you have seen this show, and I really recommend it, um, it used to be a show on NBC, but it got canceled after two seasons. It's called Revolution. I don't know where you could possibly find it. I think you could go on maybe, like, Amazon and buy the show. I think you can also go on iTunes, um, maybe even the Google Play Store, and you can possibly find the series there and watch it. Or if, like, NBC still has them, you can go on the NBC app and see if all, um, uh, uh, both seasons are on there and watch it. It's a really good show to ever really think about whatever could possibly happen if the power just one day went out around the world and we had no ways of communications with friends, family members, or anyone in order to get anywhere we needed to go. And just it, just think about that. You never really know what in the world could happen. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to Beatrice, episode 8 of Ascendance of a Bookworm. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Marshall Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday for episode 9. Bye, guys.
Thank you.